country maiden and prince charming by elsifron second century a d this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org glossippi to Shapora. i am no longer my own mother and i cannot bear to wed the one my father has lately promised me in marriage to the young fellow from methemna the pilot son because i have seen that city youth the wine-bearer since you sent me off to the city when the wine-bearing festival was celebrated for he is beautiful mother beautiful and ever so sweet and has curls crisper than sea moss and smiles more charmingly than the sea at rest and the glances of his dark blue eyes sparkle like the sea when first lighted up by the rays of the sun his whole face oh you would say the graces had left orchomenus and washed clean in the agaphian fountain to dance on his cheeks his lips are painted with roses taken from the bosom of venus and placed on their tips either i must marry him or in imitation of the lesbian sappho i will throw myself not from the lacodian rocks but from the cliffs of parius into the waves shapora to glossippi daughter you are senseless and not in sound mind you need hellbor not indeed the common sort but that of antecra of focus reputed to cure insanity but when you ought to be ashamed of it you strip your face of maiden modesty be calm and come to yourself and recover from this frenzy and banish that wretch from your mind for if your father should learn anything about this story he would throw you into the sea as food for the fishes without hesitation or delay end of country maiden and prince charming by elsifron second century a d